Alright, so welcome to part 3 of my reboot speedrunning tutorial for Rayman. Uh, we'll be heading off into Swamps of Forgetfulness because we need a power up in the level after this in order to actually uh, get past Twilight Gulch, which is a later level. So yeah, going into this, the first thing you want to do is hold X and left because then you jump on the first frame. And since we need to jump to uh, knock off the loincloth of uh, Mr. Terizan here, we want to knock it off as soon as we can. So that's why we press and hold the X button during the cuts, like during the load, so that we can knock it off uh, on the first frame possible. Now he will give you the seed, and what you want to do during this little cutscene is spam X because it makes the cutscene a bit shorter. So as soon as the cutscene starts, smash X. And then after that you want to hold circle because then you plant the seed on the first frame possible. Well, outside of this there is not much to it. Uh, so I'll probably just speed up, speed up this video until we're at the top. So yeah. Alright, so now that we're here, after jumping on this platform, you want to just crawl with L1 uh, to dodge the hammer he is about to shoot at us. And after that, as soon as his uh, gun goes down and you can actually hit him, you need to do a jump punch. If you didn't get the gold fist uh, on the auto scroller of Anguish Lagoon, if you did get the gold fist, it doesn't really matter if you jump on or not, because you will always instantly kill him. But let's just assume you don't, then it's very important to, to do a jump punch. Also, a jump punch is faster because you do it while moving. So, crawl under the hammer and jump punch. Crawl under the hammer, jump punch, and then you want to actually jump and hang on this platform. And you just want to spam X and right, and as like um, as soon as you're actually able to jump up, you will jump up. But if you're too fast, you won't be able to jump up for a little bit. So just keep spamming uh, X, which is jump, and then to the right to get past this section. All right. So you saw there was a live that spawned just before we hit to the end post. Basically, it's about a 2 to 3 second detour to get it, but if you don't feel comfortable with your lives and you think you're running out of lives and continues easily, it's very worth it to pick that life up. Like, it's only a 2 or 3 second detour and it gives you an extra, you know, an extra safety for later. But if you never run out of continue or never run out of lives, so you have to use a continue, uh, you should skip it. Every continue loses you about four to five seconds. So yeah, on this screen there is a hard strat and an easy strat. Um, basically, the easy strat would be as soon as this living stone right next to me moves to the right, I jump off, like just by running off, and then I punch him before I land, and then I kill all of these and move on. Now the quicker strat, and the way I do it, is first I grab this speed fist, I don't know why, I just grab it, and then at the end I do a, not a short press jump, but not a super long one either, like just in the middle, I just want to land on this platform right there, that's my goal, landing here, and then I punch him off, but the way I do it, is just before I land on the platform, I actually hold jump and punch. And that way you actually kill the enemy that is standing on this platform, but also the one on the right platform. And uh, then you can actually just keep holding. You can keep holding right the whole time. So yeah, like I said, jump here, hold, jump and punch. Okay, yeah, that's happened. that happens if you jump too far. So yeah, jump here, jump punch, and jump punch. That's all you do. Look at the inputs. Jump here, hold jump punch, and jump punch. 
that's basically how you do this part at least that's how I do it and slightly easier strat is to do the jump land on the platform kill this guy like this stopping a bit and then killing these that's slightly easier and now for this part there is two ways to uh, get up this platform here that's just by jumping here like that you will actually make that and you can also just punch the plum off while you're jumping off this platform like this and then jumping on this platform so yeah you can choose they're both the same speed as long as you're holding right it's all the same now for this part there is a really hard strat that also loses one HP and there is a pretty easy strat also there is a super easy strat as well <laughs> okay let's go over the hardest strat first the way I do it is I jump punch as soon as I reach this uh, brownish platform right here this brownish spot on this platform I mean I do a light tap so a light jump tap and a light a light punch tap to knock it off now I also will be holding right but I'm gonna try and stay like just left of the plum while I do it oh dang I didn't make a new safe state okay let me just do this part quickly no, no, no. okay so jump punch here then I wanna like land right about here um, as close to the plum as you can Wha and you don't want to land on it so right there was perfect that was a good and then as soon as the pump bounces and it comes back up and you're in line of it you want to punch and then immediately push left and what that does is that turns you around then you get hit by the anti tunes and you get hit to the right instead of the left that's what you want to do here that's your goal so again jump punch here land to the left jump I mean punch the plum and then turn to the left and then that happens and then as soon as the plum bounced for the second time like right there you want to do another jump punch to get it further in the water so again jump punch land to the left of it punch and then press left and then you want to jump punch once uh, once uh, as soon as it bounces for the second time and then the plum lands about here in the water which is pretty ideal this trick saves like two and a half seconds so if you're first starting off you should give it a sh give it a shot at least you know try it if you can do it if you can do it consistent go for it if not uh, I have a slightly easier strat coming up so the easier strat is to again we're gonna jump punch the plum but now we're gonna do it a bit later like as soon as we're around here like the almost the end part of the brown spot so we're gonna do that then the plum is actually not gonna bounce on this uh, living stone the plum is gonna bounce on the ground so we're gonna jump punch there and then if the plum is on their as highest point and we're also at the right side of the plum we're gonna jump on this flower so like I said jump punch right there and then jump again on this flower pretty easy right one more time jump punch right here and then jump on this flower now for this next part uh, that involves a jump punch so you want to do a jump punch and then what also you want to do that jump punch while you jump on it like while you jump towards it and on top of it so after you jump punch you want to punch again so jump punch punch again and then you want to duck and what that does is if you have a fist that reads that returns to you and you duck while you're on the plum it will actually hit the plum as well so how you want to do it is jump punch punch again and then duck and then because this anti tune is a bastard as soon as the fist connects connects to the plum you want to walk off to the right so it will look like this like I just did I'll do it again jump punch jump I mean jump punch punch so jump punch punch duck and then move to the right as soon as it hits it and then it will always nicely land in that water so once more jump punch punch duck and then move to the right and then we're gonna kill this anti tune we're gonna stay on the plum until here to spawn the cage and then we're gonna jump punch off of it now 
The visual cue to actually jump punch off this, the fastest for me, is this... Uh, wait, I'll show you with the mouse if I can get it. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, is this spot right here. This is where I do the jump punch. If you do it any earlier than this, you will land in the water. As you can see, if I do it any earlier than that, I'll do it on this run. So jump punch, jump, duck, kill this. So if you do it any earlier than this, like I will fall in the water right now. All right, so what I use as a visual cue is that dark spot and then I won't fall in the water. So I jump punch the cage here. And then I jump punch the enemy as well. Um, Alright, that's that. Now for the super easy strat, it involves you going back to the start. Uh, right about here. Yeah. So if you're if you want to do the easiest strat, if you're in the start here, you actually want to hit this plum off. And then you want to hit it in the water. And then you're going to ride the plum. And then you're going to kill all of them here. All of the anti tunes and the living stones. You're gonna punch the plum off, and now you're gonna punch it in the water. And that's the easiest strat to do this. So if you don't feel comfortable with the hardest strat and not with the uh, normal str or like the easier strat, you should do this one. That's the the easiest strat. So yeah, we're gonna punch the plum. Now for this next part, it has a strat that I actually don't do in my RTE runs because it saves about two seconds, but if you lose it, it, it loses about two seconds as well. So I find it pretty risky and my success rate for this strat is below 50%. So that's most like, that is uh, why I don't do it. Now, the way you do it is after you jump punch the, the cage, where well, I'll, I'll actually do that again. I'll actually make a safe state upon uh, grabbing that cage to uh, to explain it a bit better. First, I'm gonna do this easy strat again and jump in the water. Okay, all right. So that's where we usually are. Um, after this, to do the hardest strat possible, you wanna jump punch this enemy, and while you jump punch, you wanna turn to the left at this point as well like uh, right to the left of this red flower thing so right there is where you want to turn to the left because that's gonna reset the cycle of the plum to the right here like this plum is on a cycle and if we normally move to the right of it we cannot jump right away on it if we do that turn strat here if we turn to the left until the camera is all the way to the left and then move right, we can actually catch the plum cycle. So, around, right around here, you want to turn to the left, and then as soon as the camera is all the way to the left, you want to hold right and move to it. And then you can actually catch the cycle, punch the plum off, like I know it went really fast, but you want to jump on the plum, jump and punch off the plum that is on the top. So jump punch uh, the plum that is on the top here, and then you want to land on the left of this flower with Rayman. And then the palm is going to bounce once. It's going to bounce up. And as soon as it's bounced up, you want to turn to the right and make a little jump punch to the right. So that you push the plum in the water that I just did. And now you want to keep charging your fist until you punch the cage. And then you want to immediately jump and hold left. And then you can actually catch that cycle. But I just failed it. If you fail it, you lose two seconds. Because then you need to go back here. I need to wait for a whole plum cycle to jump back on it. But if you get it, you save two seconds. So yeah, again, we're going to jump punch this enemy to the right. Right around here, we're going to turn to the left. Okay, so jump punch, we're gonna turn to the left, as soon as the camera is all the way to the left, we're gonna run. Then we're gonna jump on the plum, punch it in the water. And then we're gonna charge our fist, and as soon as we are in distance of the cage, we're gonna release, and then we're gonna jump. Okay, there we go, I got it. And then we're gonna jump to the left on the plum. This saves two seconds, but it's really hard to do. 
And yeah, you should probably not bother with it, but I just wanna give it, uh, like, you, sh you can try it a few times if you want. And if you think you're consistent with it, you know, you might as well use it. Uh, so yeah, then the easier strat. Uh, the way I do it in runs is I just jump to the right, I wait for the plum, but while waiting for the plum, I punch and then duck to kill this anti tune right here to give me some more space. Because if the anti tune is there and you're standing a bit too far to the right, the, the anti tune will hit you and you will fall in the water. So, yeah, I'll do it again from the start. Uh, let's get this visual cue again. Okay. Like you can see, I cannot reach, jump punch the antitude, and then I do the same thing as uh, the hardest strat. And then as soon as it bounces up, I do a little jump punch, and then I land on this plum right here. So again, how I do it, I jump punch this antitude like normal, while waiting on the plum, Okay, so yeah, that that is what happens if you stand too far to the right of the plum. So yeah, jump punch this enemy, make sure you land on the left side of this flower, jump duck, jump punch, and then jump punch the plum in the water. Then we're gonna charge our fist to the cage, and now we're actually gonna try to jump on the plum as well, but this time it's gonna be easier to time, because the plum is still a bit farther to the left. And basically, when you want to jump, is as soon as it starts moving to the right again. So, after we get the cage, just a bit of a delay, and then you want to jump to, to try and catch this plum cycle. If you don't feel comfortable with it, no problem. What you can do is just wait an additional cycle, kill this anti tune just to make sure, and then jump on it like this. Which wastes like a second or two but it's much uh, safer. Now, this part I know where I jump on this plum and then hit the plum off and then hit the plum in the water can be a bit hard as well for newcomers. Uh, so the way you want to make that easier is uh, get it punching this plum in the water. So if you punch this plum to the right, you can stand on it then kill these anti tunes off, all both of them, then jump, punch, and then you can stand on this plum and then punch this plum in the water. And that's the easiest strat to do this. Then punch it, and then go on this flower and jump on this plum right here, and like so. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this screen. I know there is a lot of information and strats for this screen. That's why this makes the first real run killer and the hardest screen in the first part, or the first uh, 15 minutes of the game. And yeah, then we'll be heading off to the next screen. Alright, so once we're in this screen, uh, while the transition to this screen is going on, you want to be holding X and right. The reason you want to do that is then you jump on the first frame as soon as you're actually able to do any inputs and that puts you on the plum like this. So hold X and right and then you will end on the plum. Now our goal is to get on top of this vine and we're gonna try and get up up to this point right here. This thing right there is my visual cue. That's where you're gonna try and jump up to quickly. Now. Going up like this is really slow. The way we actually do it is to spam left and right and jump. And then it will look like this. So spam left and right and jump. That's how you get up. And then around this thing right here, you're gonna jump. And then you spawn the cage. So left, 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 right, left, right. Okay, so while falling down, there is a hard strat and an easier strat. The hard strat is, is to punch the plum on the way down, then punch the cage once. Now, remember when I told you that it was important to get this gold fist? Well, to make things easier? Well, it makes this part a bit easier. 
The reason is, is that you can punch the plum on the way down, then punch the cage with only one hit, and then after you get it, after you hit the cage, you're gonna hold, punch, and jump, and right, to get on top of the plum again. And it will look something like this. So we're gonna punch the plum, then punch the cage once, and then jump punch the um, plum. Now the reason you cannot do this with a slow fist or with a white fist is if you punch there the plum off, then you have to do two punches to get to kill the cage, and that's a bit slower. So yeah, punch, punch again without jumping, and then hold X and punch to get on top of it. And then what you want to do is that, which is ba well also the hardest strat, is after you're on the plum, you want to jump. To make the plum already a bit faster so while going to the right you want to jump on the plum while going to the right as well because if you just jump on it wait if you just jump you will you know you will fall off the plum but you gotta jump to the right and then punch to the left and then duck and then it will make the plum a bit faster and then your goal is to jump on this flower here so this is how you want to do it. If you cannot do it, like if you cannot jump punch and then duck, like you can just make it a bit easier, just get on the plum and then punch duck, punch duck, punch duck, punch duck. As long as you land on the flower, that's the most important thing. So when you get on this flower, you jump at the end of this platform and you do really three tiny jumps and then the long jump to get on the plum. So three tiny taps. So one, two, three, and then a hard one to land on this plum. Now for this part, we're gonna jump on this flower, but before we land on it, we're actually gonna punch to get the cage. Now, as you can see, if you land on it and then punch, you will not get the cage. So you need to make sure to punch just before you land and that was punched too early, by the way. The timing is not really that hard, though. So yeah, that was it. Just before landing, you're gonna punch. That is, again, if you punch too late. That is perfect. Now, after this, there is a hard strat as well, and there is an easier strat. The easier strat is like this. You just jump off to the right. And you jump off here. Like also, if you ha if you only have like 1 HP or 2 HP at this point, it might be better for you if you're just starting out to take this path as well, because you get a free P here, which restores your HP to full. And then you just land in the end sign. Now the hardest strat is to, around here, you like a bit earlier than this, you want to jump to the right and then t do two vine boosts. And vine boosts, like I said, is just holding X just before you land on the vine to jump off on the first frame. So jump here, hold X, hold X, and that's it. And then you just uh, hit the end post. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Swamp of Forgetfulness. Next up is Mosquito's Nest. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you there.